excited or pe- people are ready for that and they'd, yeah. they'd rather see that stuff than listen to this stuff so yeah it's quite sad really but as i say, i'm not against dg at all i just think that his tactics are different yeah. and yeah. i don't understand why you're getting all this hate and drama when it's something i think it's because of eq and the friendship there but you can't judge everyone by their friends but people like her on this app she's not going to go anywhere anytime soon and they can't judge you just because she's given you a platform if anything she's showing people that she's not i mean she has used some tactics in the past which are quite amusing but um she's not scared about anything that's going to come out or anything like that Mm -hmm. and you know she's supporting you which i don't understand why they can't do the same if there's nothing to hide it's just strange but i'll drop out now anyway but that's i just thought it was a bit all right odd but thank you nice one anyway cheers mate see you later um let's go down all right it's gonna i'm gonna kick you out and if you want to come back in just um it's moving down the list hey all right how's it going thank you for letting me in your box don't worry about it. Oh my God, I can hear myself talking back, sorry. I, I just want to bring up, um, do you remember last week when you were talking about DJ and you said all these mods are like high level gifter scores? Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. And I have, put, I have put in your camera, by the way, I have also followed you from day one, like back to Cal Pinkerton. I really have, right? Again, nice like many, many people on here have supported you as well, right? So me being me, I actually put in your chat, I'm sorry, I disagree. That's exactly what I said. I'm sorry, I disagree. I modded DG when I was a level um, 17. Yeah. I'm 29 now. I'm also, well, nearly 30. Plus, I was gifting two years before that. I am I am a tiny ten person. That's the reason why I came on the app, right? But I, I just want to say, and I, I just want you to know, you asked me the question, um, did did you quit modding or were you unmodded? And I have put in your chat, I got unmodded, which I will hold. I, I don't know if you've seen my comment, and I just want you to know this, right? Which I clearly said. I hold my hand up. There was one night I was modern DJ and Ken K was in there. And again, another person, um, Ken K was massive on this app. He's not been on, well, I've not seen him for a little while. Another one I used to get, right? Um, he has supported DJ massively the night. He, he dropped shitloads. Anyway, that night it was nothing but trolls. I stupidly, I don't, e- I don't even know why I'm using the word stupidly. You, when you've got 2,000 people in your chat, I went to um, block somebody who was doing nothing clearly but trolling, but unknown to me, it had jumped to the person above, which was Ken K. Mm. Anyway, I came off and I went to bed and I was getting shared lies, yada, yada, yada. And I, I looked at my, my my activities and I seen DG will vouch for this because I'm not going to lie, it, it did bother me. It really did bother me. Um, you've been um, removed as moderator. So I, again, he will vouch for this. And I, I still, to this day, I love DG. I still sub to him and I sub to Evil Queen. I don't get involved in whatever's going on. I'm not that kind of person. 
So I, I messaged Dan and I, I clearly said nothing other than, mate, what have I done? You know, why have you modded me? And he did say, um, you blocked Ken K. And I'm not going to, I can honestly say, when I read that message, my heart actually missed a beat. So, the, Karma, I, I love you. I love Evil Queen. I love DG. I love Dave Durant. I've got no hate to, I'm not that kind of person. I've got no hate for anybody. But I was just trying to make a point that all Dan's mods, I promise you now, they're not. In fact, when, when I modded them, I think at the time, it'd only been on the app six, seven months. And I. I think a lot of people are getting the wrong impression, twisting things. You know what that's like. Yeah. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can, yeah. Ah, oh, good. Sorry, my camera's just died. <laughs> my phone's just died. Um, sorry, I missed the last bit of that. Uh, you're saying that you got removed as a mod because you, you muted or blocked... Someone who was a high gifted yeah, level, and then I've not ten k because that night there was quite a few trolls in, and I had only I, I had only muted and blocked about two people, and I remember which I still got. I remember messaging Dan back saying, "And we blocked anybody," but then later on, I I I remember the person that I wanted to block. But I, I never even realised myself until Dan had told me. It, my phone clearly had obviously skipped up and blocked Ken K. But Ken K is somebody else that I've supported. And I'm not going to lie, I was gutted. So all, all that malarkey that I'm talking about, all of what he says, I just want you to know, I promise you now, Dan does not just mod big gifters. Okay. He most people that he sees in his chat all the time. He he most people that I'll even send him a hat me. I promise you. I promise you. He's not that kind of guy that people think he is. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. But I, I was I'm I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit frustrated last week, like when you paused your video and like in the nicest way possible, because I do love you as well. When you said, Fee, did you quit or were you modded? I was like, fucking hell. Do you know what I mean? And I don't know if you've seen my comment. So I just wanted to let you know that's exactly what happened, which 100% Dan will back that up. That is the truth. I was only level 17 at the time. And at the time, Dan had only been on the app six, seven months. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. But anyway, I've got no hate towards anybody. I'm not that kind of person. This app is so draining. People forget that kindness is free, sprinkle it everywhere. And you keep being you. Evil Queen keep being you. Dan, my number one is Tiny Tim, and I can't help it. Okay. All right. Nice one anyway, Fee. Oh. Right. Right. I, 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 don't, I don't feel right the same name, right, goodbye, Karma. That kind of feels weird, but whatever your name is, thank you. Yeah. No worries. Have a good one. Cheers, mate. No worries. See you later. Um, all right. Oh, DG's in. Two more and then DG's in. I do need to get my charger, though, for this phone. All right, Maria, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Not bad. How are you? I'm good. Listen, um, there's a lot, like speaking of being gutted, there's a lot of women in this chat who are feeling gutted right now. Um, can you confirm when you said you weren't salty? Can, sorry, I need to turn the microphone up. Uh, the sound. What do you say? Sorry. That um, a lot of the women in this chat right now are feeling gutted as well. Gutted about what? 
You had said earlier that you weren't salty. I think we all just kind of hoped that you were a little salty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't salty. Who knows? <laughs> Now, the second the second question, because I am from Canada, and I, like, if I was to plan a trip to the UK, I'm just trying to figure out the currency and the Chinese and the flowers. So, if I was to go to the UK and order Chinese food, like, say, chicken chow mein, chicken balls, chicken fried rice, yeah. and a couple of egg rolls, and then if I went across the street, and I grab myself a nice bouquet of flowers. Listen, you, you wouldn't have to worry about that. I'll get the Chinese and the flowers. Listen, how many pounds? How many pounding? Does that currency, like how many pounds will, you know, would, would one have to pound for that? I don't know. In I, currency. I don't know. Like how many pounds? <laughs> Twice a week, I guess. However Twice much a pound a week? is. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, I'm just trying to figure out my budget, right? Like, it's right. all about the currency right now. So, I don't know. And I hear all this pounds and pounding and Chinese. <laughs> and I just want to sort it all out, you know? You know, karma? That's yeah. what I'm doing. That's all right. Yeah. Doing the right thing. Listen, you're doing a great job. Awesome. Um, I just started watching you. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, you didn't say hi to me. Still a little pissed off. I'm joking. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm joking, but here's the, here's the thing, though. If I was a creator coming on to TikTok, who would I want to mentor me, I guess, or to be with, or to team up with, or whatever, would be someone like EQ? Because let's face it, TikTok is a business, right? You guys are entrepreneurs, and that's how I look at it. You guys are like stores. You guys are selling your, your merch. And if you don't like it, don't buy it. But you're tagging up with some really good folk who knows what the app they're doing. And kudos to you. And I think you guys are great together. And you really compliment one another. And, uh, yeah, I love you. Nice one, Thanks. you. Thanks so much for, for all the really good awareness that you're spreading out there. I think it's fabulous. I think it's really important, and you're keeping it on the narrow. So good job. Nice one. All right. Great we'll, speak, one. we'll speak again. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, hello. All right. How's it going? Yeah, it's good, sir. I just, I just want to come in, sir, man. Yeah, right, you're coming in because of the numbers or what? Well, now I've got more on my main over here, bro. <laughs> I'm just, I just thought I'd pop in on my backup and give you some. I'm uh, doing all right off EQ at the minute. All right, innit? Yeah, of course you are. They are dropping a bit, though, aren't they? It is. It is five minutes past yeah. two. I know, and I've still got 1,100 people in my mind, just chilling in my bed chatting. You'll, as I say, bro, you know, uh, listen, I, I, did I not message you the other day? You messaged uh, me, yeah. Tell the chat yeah, on you it. Did, you did message me. I said, I said, listen, I, I, if, I've, if I've manipulated anyone in any way and they have any proof of that, I deserve to be exposed. 100%. That's the message I sent to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, and I even thought, and I said it in the live in front of 8,500 people, I said, expose me if that's what. I have nothing against what you were doing. Nothing, you know, in nothing. I, listen, I've heard of many people, Diadro, that woman who paid for a holiday and obviously, God rest her soul or whatever, you know, the stuff that. And you know yourself, you sat there, you've got your subscribers on, you've got your gifts on and stuff. Yeah. Your, your whole message was, your whole message was vulnerable people gifting, stuff like this. 100%, yeah. And whatever else. But they just seem, you know, there seems to be a lot of, um, yeah, you're a lot about your numbers now, and like a lot, you know. You know. I'm de honestly, I'm de I'm definitely not about my numbers. That was just a joke I because think, you come in and said it, said something no, about numbers. Prior to this, prior to this, prior to it. it. Yeah, prior. You've said it a few times about uh, when you're in Candies. You said, "Oh, you've never had numbers like this." Uh, you said, "Listen, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why you said that to Candy because she was sat on two hundred people and she baited me into that box. She, she almost—I don't even know how to word it. She almost bunny boiled me into that box. 
I thought she was going to say something nice or something. I jumped in and she was at me and the numbers went up to like two point something K. And I said, you're just doing this for numbers because she was number one on that Canadian leaderboard. And I knew her game. I knew what she was trying to do. It's like a daily leaderboard or something. And I just thought, like, fuck you, mate. I'm not I'm not playing your game, jumping in like this. Yeah. And also, like you said, I'm pr- just uh, about half an hour ago, because I'm a bit more, but we've just been camped to him watching for a little bit. You said um, about doing your, it's a good t- thing to do is your FYP at this time and talk about certain stuff because it keeps your numbers in. Um, so, like, I, listen, I know that I see, you know, I've seen you on here for a while, and, I, and obviously, as you say, you've spoken, you've come in, and whether you say you didn't or you didn't, I know you never said in messages, but you have asked and you said, like, what do you think we should do? What do you think I should do, like, to be able to get your content more and, and get your live popping a bit more? Uh, whether you, uh, so I, I know deep down, uh, whether it might not be for money or for whatever, I know everyone wants some numbers in the room, and you're buzzing with your numbers now. And I know you are. Whether you say Listen, I'm, or, honestly, I'm not, it, it's, it's nice to have more numbers, but it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything for for in my life. If I can say something to more people, great. It's more awareness in it. But honestly, it doesn't change anything. I've been on this app. I think I've been on this app like four times longer than you've been on the app. And in that period of time, I've I've not done. I've like I said before, I've done about fifteen battles, and those fifteen battles are only so I can speak to someone for five minutes on it. And it sounds like a little shitty thing to say, like oh, poor me for doing a battle. But generally, I've I've sat there through TikTok being an all right place. Then the gifting started on it. Then the leaderboards. Then dueling people. It wouldn't they wouldn't stay in a duel with you for more than twenty seconds because you've not hit accept. So that, that they're that? the only times I've done done that and for numbers i've been doing all right on my other account like this this is just this is just a normal normal account i've been doing all right on my other account i've got cameos coming in each day on that i've not i'm not even pushing anything on it so i don't it's nothing about numbers on here yeah but i I say i don't know i beg to differ i see see, i see it like but what do you you think what do you think i'm gaining from it though because i'm not going out doing any content I'm sat. I'm no, sat no, here no, at no. two two in the morning. My my partner's in bed. I could be in in bed there. I could be doing anything other than this. And I'm not. I'm not making money on it. I've, I know I've got subs on. I know I've got gifts. But yeah. I mean, I'm not making. I'm not making a wage yeah. on it. Of course, you, no. Yeah, but that's how it starts. Listen, I, I listen. I started right, and I wasn't making a wage. But I'm telling you now, right. And whether you whether you believe me or not, and whether you see it or not, or whether you you think your intentions are in the right place, you say numbers don't mean anything. Numbers mean everything, right? Eventually, these people like you. Yeah, they'll, uh, you know, you'll just naturally get gifted, and you'll naturally get on the leaderboard. And I, I, I can tell you now, in six months, I, I, within six months or three months, you will be on the leaderboard. I, I can one hundred percent guarantee that if you carry on with the way you're going, and whether you go, oh well, I didn't get on there, or I didn't think you will get pushed onto the leaderboard, and this whole thing, and you'll look back and you'll go, oh fuck, I look like a cunt. Um, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't listen. I don't. I'm not. Your gifts on. I've got my gifts on. I've got my subs on. You're correct on that. But I've said from day one that it's not about anti-gifting. Um, that's not that's not what I'm attacking. I'm not trying to take. That's not anti-gifting. You've been gifted by these vul- said vulnerable people now. Like you, no, you've but... got to remember whether it's in a in a these you're saying these people are vulnerable yeah yep. whether they're gifting you in a battle whether they're gifting you you're saying they're vulnerable. So for them, they're you're you're standing up for them and. That you're standing up for said vulnerable people, and them said vulnerable people are still in gifting you because you're standing for them now. I, I understand what you're saying, but that that's not the intentions at all. I'm not these these people. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help. Intention. Listen, these people I'm trying to help might not even know what I look like or what I sound like, but it might drip down to them some way or another. I'm not trying to ga- gather these people into some sort of pen and then just start trying to I don't know make it lucrative that's not that's not the idea like even from that live we did when those 8k people watching I'm I'm sure I'm sure some people have gone from that who've been in a situation where they've been manipulated and it's had some light shed on it and then they're probably not sat here now but they're probably they might be sat at home with a husband or the wife or doing something different other than trying to find happiness sending someone else something because they've got a hole somewhere in their life that they need to fill. That's all it is. 
if I build an audience off the back of it, I know I know more than anyone if EQ decides to not say everyone go over to Kaz's after a live, I, I a million percent I know more than anyone that my numbers won't be big. I understand that. I say it every live I'm in. This this audience I've got, I haven't built this. I, I've been handed it. I understand that. And I'm thankful for it all the time. I, I thank uh, Evil Queen every every time I go live, and uh, and I understand it. So I'm not I'm not here to be the big I am. I'm not here to grow something to use as a lucrative machine. I'm generally I'm just doing I'm doing what I'm saying I'm doing basically. <laughs> can I ask? Can I ask though? So obviously you you sort of back, so the other day you did agree and you said like yeah I won't I'll turn my gifts off. What yep. made you change your mind to turn your gifts back on? Well, I said I said beforehand, I said I've, I had my gifts on previously, and I said for this live that I'm going to do, I'm going to have it off because I don't feel it's appropriate to be having the gifts on for this because it, it would have been a lucrative moment. It would have been where the most people would be in my life, and I didn't want to turn that into something that I monetize. Yeah, but now, like, obviously, but so now your belief is out the window. No, it's not no, a belief it's system. Platform. It's just it, this is what the app's for. So the apps, what what's that for? Gifting. Well, what do you think? What do you think the apps for for you? Well, yeah, yes. Uh, what I'm saying is, the other day you were protecting the vulnerable people who are gifting now. But you're making it out that I'm now targeting vulnerable people to earn money. Well, that's that was the that's the hidden agenda. That was the hidden agenda. That's that's again. your that's what you I think do. my hidden agenda is. Well, I, I, am, see, I see straight through it. I don't I'm, see I'm straight creator. through anything. Of course I do. You yeah, the other day you were protecting these people and saying oh, and then you even agreed and said, I'll, you know, all right, yeah, I'll turn my gifts off. I agree that. And now your gifts are on, your subs are on, and you're live, and you and you, now well, you're saying I, I, I had my gifts. I had my gifts on. I had my gifts on, and my subs on before that live we had together. Yeah, no, but then your and whole then, agenda was now is you were pushing that and protecting these vulnerable people who are gifting, who are being manipulated, who are doing this and stuff like this. And obviously, like, I I, I know EQ's agenda on this. EQ knows I, I was going to address it. She was giving you her platform to sort of give you, like, I, I know EQ well. She, she, you know, she's not fucking stupid. She's not as clever as me, but she's not stupid. Um, and then she knew I'd address it, so you'd also get my views or my a couple of my haters uh, and whatever else, and they're going to create your platform. But I, 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 un- I understand you. I, un- I understand your logic, but you need to understand that not everything like in life or TikTok life revolves around yourself, you know, and how you think something's going to pan out. Like I understand you're going to have a negative outlook on what I'm doing. A hundred percent get that. And I'm not, I, no, no, I, I, don't get that twisted. I've, listen, that's, there's no, hence why I said to you, there's no negative outlook on it. The way you came though, in front of eight and a half thousand people said, I'm manipulative and said, you have proof of this. I right? did. I did but then, yeah. In, yeah. And then went on your live with no proof. So you slandered, me in front of eight and a half thousand people. So saying, you're you're, you're gonna you, that your things to slander me back, basically. No, I, I haven't slandered you. Where have I slandered you? I'm telling you the truth. I, I'm not, no, you tell, I'm, you're I'm telling me uh, an opinion from your side doesn't mean it's the truth. It's not that's factual. Not, that's not slander. I, I my opinion is well. It, well, well I'll, I'll is, give you I'll give you some factual information. Um, I received like numerous inboxes from people who said you or your mods. On numerous messages had used some sort of manipulation tactic to them, whether that be through messaging, whether that be love bombing, whether that be whatever. Okay, I so, I, I had numerous messages saying that. So you asking me in front of eight thousand people, do you have messages which say that I've been manipulating? And I answer yes. Then yes, I do. With proof. With the or screenshot. The screenshot would be the it. proof. Yeah. Yeah, so you had so you had proof of me these mess, said messages though. What? You had proof. So you had Every, everyone who's me, everyone who's messaged me bar bar two people because they didn't have Instagram or any way of messaging me apart from WhatsApp, and I didn't want to give my number out. Everyone sent me screenshots on Instagram, and they've they've sent. I've asked them like, can you just explain what happened? So they sent me like a paragraph on TikTok, and then the screenshots have come through on Instagram. Yeah, of me love bombing them or whatever you said. Uh, the love bombing one. 
uh, I, obviously I can't mention who that is, but that was one of the people that wanted it through WhatsApp. Yeah. So and they, sh- and they sh- oh, so that couldn't be shown then. They couldn't make an Instagram, which is dead easy to make, and just send it over. You're you're asking the wrong person. I know you can do that. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, and then what was the other one? What was the other one that I did? The other one. Yeah, you said uh, a couple of other screenshots and stuff. Uh, t- the two were shown actually in that that live, that quotation mark exposing live. Um, they were debunked as being something for your birthday. Apparently. Oh, okay. So, so, uh, so, uh, obviously, you just said I slandered you, but obviously, anything I've said to you there is no. You, no, you said you said I slandered you, yeah, and you then did. then I took I took what you just given me in the last ten minutes, and I said so. So, is what you're trying to do now is slander me, because it would seem that way. Yeah, but then obviously you just said I slandered you back. No, but yeah, that's like, what I just explained. I said that you you. Well, I slandered you, in your words, on, in front of 8,000 people. And then yeah. I've said, so you've come in this live now yeah, and for 10 minutes yeah. talked about something in an attempt to slander me, I think. So there you go. DW, DWP fraud team, he was blocked by me a while ago. He put his mods do Facebook GoFundMe for DG TikTok gifts. Hey. Again, DWP fraud team, prove it, prove it. Show me the... Listen, don't, worry, that. Dan, don't worry about the, the comments. Well, I know, but obviously you get these like these are in in te- like. And I, don't, I don't know who this the DWP guy is, and I don't know, I don't know the truth behind what he's saying. I don't know if he's doing it to spite you. This is what I don't understand, and this this is why I'm reluctant and was reluctant to put out the screenshots because I don't know whether it's someone just trying to attack you and um, deliberately. I don't know what word to use. I'm going to use manipulating again. Manipulating a message to make it look like something that it isn't. So someone who's took a message, which might be like you or a mod saying, can you send this much today? And they've took it out of context because it might be for, as an example, the birthday one, but they've made it seem that it's not the birthday one and it's an isolated incident away from that. Yeah. As I say, well, uh, anyway, you're... The uh, fair play to you, you've got your platform, but as I say, look, Mark, uh, fucking hell, Nori. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I just wanted to come over and say I, I wasn't slandering you. I was happy with what you were doing and stuff like that. But I feel like you, you've been, you've been already you, your mission is out the window by you know your subs, your gifts. That's so, fine. Like, um, just would you obviously don't mention me? Do do whatever. Are you willing to do any sort of video or anything to to spread awareness on on these people or not? Don't have um, to. Don't people wouldn't even know I've asked you to do it on the video. You can you can even remove the video possibly, after a couple of hours. Of course, they would because we've got nearly two thousand people in my life and fucking eight hundred in your life. So of course they would know that. And I, I'm, I'm not I'm not being funny, but uh, uh, Evil Queen might be your organ grinder, but she ain't mine, and I ain't getting I ain't getting told what to do through you, through Evil Queen. That's definitely like, not. I, I, listen, I the, off e- my own back, not off what Evil Queen tells you to do. To evil, tell me to do. I understand what you're trying to get at. Here. Evil Queen has not asked me to do anything. So whether Evil Queen's doing this to get at you, as you seem to think it is, then I, I'm i not involved in any of that. If, if you think Evil Queen's using me as a pawn, then it, so be it. But I'm doing what I want to do, yeah, so and we've, we've probably both gained from it at some at some stage. So it's not Evil Queen would not be telling you to do that. And I think you need, in, in circumstances like that, it would be probably best if you dropped your ego with something like that because it's not it doesn't have to be who's told you or asked you to do something it's the principle of what it is what they're asking you to do if you understand what i mean if, if you can spread awareness and help someone then it doesn't matter who said it does it really if, if you have an influence on people and you can help people out it doesn't matter whether the nastiest person or the happiest person in the world said it to you it's it's up to you what you do obviously you know it's up to you but I'm just saying, don't let don't let my affiliation with Evil Queen like t- dampen anything like that because well, you've already done that yourself, though. As I say, like look at your look at your comments, right? These are all people who have been blocked from my live, and all people who follow, like see these follow these, these people who your your live is a cesspit for weirdos. 
Like, okay. and, and every one of them, I scroll through, look at the comments, yeah? So they're all saying they're like blindsided, they're like, they're like donkeys running down a fucking track with blinkers on. From, to, from, the same, from the same angle, like, this isn't like, a again, a tit for tat or anything, but from the same angle, I'm guessing the 2,000 people who are in your live are you know echo chamber as well, aren't they? So they're going to be anti-CAS, the same as maybe a lot of people in here are anti-DG. So it's just the environments which they've been placed in, isn't it? It's not necessarily the individuals in it. Uh, one point being, you've come to the live, so you've kept that group of people away from another um, opinion. So if someone with another yeah. opinion comes in, they're either going to get muted or uh, verbally, however you say it, um, attacked in the comments by either a mod or anyone watching, aren't they? Because that yeah, environment yeah. you've created is a pro DG environment, and this environment I've got here isn't necessarily a pro cousin environment. But I understand there's a lot of people that might not like you, which are coming in just so they can say something to you in here. Or there is some people which are pro my side or pro your side or whatever. But yeah. yeah. See, do you know what, you know what makes me laugh the most? Like, after these comments here, after these comments, you all follow me. That's how fucking strange you are. Oh, I don't like him, but I'm going to follow him because I like watching him. Haters like to watch. Hey, haters like to hate, but keep watching. Hey, listen, anyway, I, I'm, I'm done with all this. I'm, as I say, I, I wanted the proof. There was no proof. You, you got your platform from EQ and, and from a couple of my haters, which, uh, as I say, you know, I'm all for it because, to be fair, my haters are broke anyway. Catch us later. <laughs> okay. That's coming from a decorator. <laughs> Alright, next. Hi. Hi, you alright? Yeah, where have you gone? Oh, my um, my camera's run out. I use my phone as the webcam, and it's run out of battery. And my charger's downstairs in the front room. That's weird talking to a screen. <laughs> um, I I just had like a simple question, really. Um, not just at you, but aimed at the same creators that say the same thing. Mm. Um, you kind of hit on it earlier. Um, I've heard you and other creators say numerous times it's not about the money. Yeah. And it makes me question why do these people have their subs on and have like sub goals and their gifting on all the time if it's not about the money? That's that's because what I don't if think. it if it was about the money, I'd be doing live matches. I'd be in some way yeah. i'd be asking people to to send me heart me's or whatever they are and i'd be bigging up everyone who sent everything that's if it was about the money but you have been in matches when and so You're talking about the the 10 to 15 matches i've been in in the last four years if so, you are correct in that. But were you listening when I was explaining why I was in the matches? I can, I can pull. Yeah, oh, I don't need yeah, to, it's, but it's, it's uh, lots of people. But you can still get people in your box without having to do battles. That's incorrect. But no, because you can invite the myth. That's incorrect. Oh, okay. If I'm doing jewels, which I was doing for years. It gets to the point where you're requesting people and the first thing they say is, do you want to do a match? And the first thing what happens, even if they don't say that, is it pops up saying um, accepts live match or whatever it says. And if you don't accept that within five seconds, they, they say, like, are you going to accept that? And if you say no, just want to talk, then they leave. And that's nine times out of ten. And... I don't. I don't even want to say the audience I used to have can back me up on that, but I, I promise you now, I I've done. I don't know. I don't even want to know how many hours I've done of lives. Thousands. I've done thousands of hours of lives, trying to duel people, and it's the way. It's the way it happens. You have to do a live match to talk to someone, e even worth talking to. So, uh, yes, I have done live matches. That was your question. But 
yeah um so i've heard these people sort of say that you know it's not about the money not just you i've heard many creators do it hmm. um and it's not about the money it's not about the money but like i could say they've got their subs on which they make money from they get they have their gifts on and they get gifted and it's like well if you're trying to get in my opinion if you're trying to get a message across and like you said yourself you turned your gifts off the other night yeah. to make that point yeah why not leave them off all the time because that if if i would have i'll explain it so that that live where i had the gifts off that would have been the live where i would have had the most amount of people of I've ever had in a live or I've ever seen in any live I've been in because it was all built up there was people talking about it in different lives on the build up and then it happened if I would have gone into that with the gifts on then that that would have tarnished anything I was doing in that live and it would have made it look like I've solely done that just to get gifts which was not the truth so I thought it's right if I'm going to if I'm going to speak to a mass amount of people in one go, I thought that moment was right to just have it off. But, yeah, it's okay, I get that. Yeah. But what about the next day then? I, it, you're trying to portray this message across. Is it just for one day? You're trying to portray this No, no. Um, every day since that live, I've spread whatever message I can spread about it and I have had the gifts on and I've got the subs on it's as simple as that I'm not anti-gifting you seem to think I'm coming coming at people for for getting gifted and that's not that's not what it is it's not what it's about so what is your issue then if it's not about the gifting because clearly you accept gifts my, my issue um and it can be on any level of gifting, okay? But it, seem, it seems to happen on more of the extreme level. So if, if I've got someone who's coming into the live, I'm just going to use myself as, as an example. If I've got someone who's coming into the live and they send me 20 quid, for example, one one gift for 20 quid, um, I look at it and say, thank you, great, I've got a 20 quid gift. If that person then send me another gift and then another gift after that and then another gift it'd be a bit of a red flag for me because i'd think like why is this person doing this why is why is this person sending so much in one go or if someone was sending it like periodically or daily or however you want to word it they were, they were consistently sending me large amounts of money i'd be worried about it and th these people are the, are the people i'm trying to target when i when i'm talking about awareness and stuff because these these are the people which in in the home life there's probably got something going on they might have some mental health issues they might be lonely depressed um they're seeking happiness through sending gifts and that puts them in a category of being vulnerable okay so i'm not anti someone sending me a heart me i'm not anti someone sending me anything but when it gets to the point where someone sending a lot then that's that's where the issue is it's the same with gambling so if you go into like a bookies or a casino or something um if someone goes in with 20 quid and puts it in the machine the person behind the desk isn't going to be saying excuse me uh are you having a bad time or something or i don't want you to put anything else in that that's fine it's if that person sat there all day feeding that machine then there's an issue isn't there that's where it's highlighted and I'm I'm aiming my message at the people who are quotation marks feeding the machine as such. If that makes sense. I don't know whether it does make sense. It's two thirty and I'm tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I do kind of get what you're saying, but it's to me, it's it's coming across as like, well, one day I, I need to get across this message. And then the next day I need to get across another message. And so the next day we'll forget about previous day's message. If you want to stick to your morals and keep your messages, 
and sort of not be fickle with it, then you have to keep that as it is, the, the gifts I, off. I, understand, I understand what you're saying, but I mean, it is a bit nitpicky, isn't it? To be honest. In what way? Explain that, nitpicky. Do you understand what I'm trying to do? I understand that you're trying to do an FYP show. Okay. Um, I understand that you're trying to get the message across to these vulnerable people that shouldn't be gifting. Yeah. But like like it was said, these, these vulnerable people suddenly came over and started gifting you. That's not true. Um, but, but you say it's not true. You don't know the personal circumstances of the people that have gifted you. Well, if I'm if I'm saying multiple times in each live I'm doing about awareness on it, and I'm giving helplines out there, and I'm talking about how you, you can text this and you can get this information on this here, and you can do that there. Surely I'm giving the people who are in here the what's the word for it the right the right path to go down aren't I I don't know what the wording is for it but I'm giving them the right direction to go down if there is a problem I'm not sat I'm not sat on here from 8 p.m till 2 30 now raking it in like just allowing everyone to to gift everything constantly I'm, I'm saying what needs to be said I'm putting into no, place. I'm putting into place what every large creator should put into place moving forward. I am not anti-gifting. Okay, if someone gifts me, thank you. I'm not anti-gifting, but what I'm doing in my lives is what every creator should be doing moving forward. There should be some sort of helpline there, or they should mention a helpline every I don't know half an hour or something. And then I'm not. I'm not trying to attack. These these big gifters, which are big big um, creators, which are having big gifters and getting people just gifting in general. That's not what I'm trying to target. Okay, allow you're allowed to gift what you want. Anyone can gift what they want. But if the right procedures are put in place, then you make the environment a safe environment for everyone. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Um, but some of the people, not all of them, some of the people, the, the big creators, I have seen them say to their gifters, uh, yeah, look, if you can't afford to gift, please do not gift. Um, and, they, and they've said it various different ways. Um, I've seen DG do it on multiple occasions. Um, what's his mate's name? JC. JC's yeah. always doing it. So like, don't give me sweet if you haven't got any money. Don't. I'd rather not. I'd rather you put money in your electric than put it in my account. And I have seen them sort of, but like, there's the others that you don't see doing it. But why do you have a problem with one creator doing it, but not another? I'd it's, that's not the case. You've got to start somewhere. It just seems a little bit... It's coming across... Um, I don't know if I'm the only one, but it's coming across a little bit hypocritical. Okay, well, I'll tell you, what, what do you want me to do moving forward? Uh, well, well, no, just... Um, well, not, not no, you're in front of... 500 and some people and you're saying it's hypocritical just just tell me you give me the guidance and i'll follow no the only way i see it being a little bit hypocritical is you've got two big creators either side of you you've yep. got evil quick and you've got dg they're both making a living out of tiktok okay and you seem to be digging out one of them for doing it but happily taking the the leg from from the other one. And don't get me wrong, I like EQ. I think she's funny as fuck. I think she's brilliant. Um, I, I really wish that her and DG would make up because I loved them on holiday together. They're so funny. Um, but it's it just seems a bit hypocritical that you'll dig him out 
Fair, like your name. fair enough. Uh, listen, I'm going to have to drop you, but it was nice speaking to you. I'm not just cutting you off because I don't want to hear what you're saying, but there is a few other people in the box and I'm not staying on forever. <laughs> but I do. I understand what you're saying. I get your points, the good, the good points to make. And I understand that you're saying that, why am I going for DG and not EQ? I understand that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And just maybe think about turning your gifts off a little bit more often if you're pushing the cause. Because it's, if you do a cause, you have to keep pushing it occasionally. You can't just do it one day and then not do it again. I, I, I can, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I know you've come from DG's side, and that doesn't make me... No, it, no, I, like, I have. I if, you, if, you, if you think you've been pushing the cause for one day then it is fine but anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna drop you anyway but the christmas side that's where i usually am yeah. i just popped over and got sucked into this all right anyway listen have um have a good uh good night and stuff see you later you'd be nice to see your face next time yeah can do <laughs> see you later bye. bye right this is going to turn into the grilling now isn't it All right, mate. Hey, yo. How's it going? How's it going, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Good stuff. Um, I've only I've only requested really. Um, I was, I was just listening to what what Martha was saying, whatever her name was. Yeah. Um, I think I, I think <laughs> not being rude, but I, I didn't really catch your name. Um, me, me personally, I don't I don't think there's a problem with the gifting. Um, as long as you can afford the gifting, if it's entertaining for you to watch, I'll put gifts on. It makes no odds to me. I can afford to, to gift. I don't give massively. Um, I've watched the likes of CLA. Um, I've seen the stuff with Miss Red. And I think the way that they do it is, is down the line of pure manipulation. Um, if they don't get the gifts that they want, they kick off and they block people. Um, and I think the way that you, you've you gone about this and you conducted it, I ain't, I ain't got no issue with it, to be fair. Uh, I, th I think it's, um, it's it's entertainment at the end of the day. I think it's it's more about um, it's creating controlled environments where, not in a manipulation way, but a controlled environment where it's safe for people. So it's not it's it's not anti gifting for anyone. I don't want anyone. I wouldn't want anyone to turn the gifts off. I'm not. Like it doesn't affect me. It doesn't. It's not my thing to say. Yeah. But if the right, like I say, the right procedures are put in place within the live, and it's like said, I don't know. It could be every fifteen minutes, half an hour. You don't even have to say. It could just have a banner somewhere with some sort of helpline or awareness, something there. Then you, you're creating the right environment for how the app should be. Because at the minute, how the app is it's allowing um these people to like just get pushed under the rug so yeah definitely just, yeah i mean like i i, I jump in a, a few other people's lives um and, and they're not massive creators small creators but they do provide entertainment um in, in forms of singing performing like a like the form of a live lounge mm. and it's almost like you're tipping for a performance in a sense do you know what i mean that's yeah, yeah. Mainly where I go for. So I mean, if um, if you're out and about doing content or you you drive into places and it's costing you money, then yeah, I get it. If you're bringing entertainment, it's what it is. Even if you just sat sat home on a chair and you want to do battles all day, it's what it is, isn't it? Each to their own. Yeah. But it's the people which fall victim to this on on the yes. and just get swept away and it's on to the next one sort of thing which I'm trying to look out for that's so. all yeah. yeah no no I, I, I agree with you I do I, I agree with what you're doing I haven't got a, an issue with what you're doing at all um, it's it seems to be there's a there is a select few of uh, creators that have gone down this route of the the, the gifts are on um, and, and it's almost like a sort of like like a demanding culture now um and because they've grown a following people are sort of brainwashed into gifting on the regular basis mm. you're saying 
like bringing in like a, like an awareness or gift give resp- like please give responsibly when, when, when do you know what I mean that sort of thing yeah I think that I think that's a good idea but no I, I just thought I'd drop in yeah and just, uh, no worries mate I'll let feel, feel like at 20 to 3 <laughs> yeah. alright anyway listen it was nice speaking to you anyway I'm going to get a few too, man. have a good one mate see you later you too have a lot alright these are going to be the last ones now because I need my beauty sleep Hello, Cass. All right, how's it going? Yeah, just a quick one because oh. people just aren't getting it, but I want to give that like, a different way of saying it. So, you know, when you go to like, a shop to buy alcohol, on the front of the shop it will say drink responsibility. Mm. Drink, drink responsible. Mm. Or if you go to a casino, it will say gamble responsible. You're just literally doing the same. I don't understand. But you're just saying uh, gift responsible. You're not saying don't gift. I don't, I don't understand how people just ain't getting it. You see, each to their own, isn't it? Like, every, everyone's going to have an opinion on something, and it, sometimes, well, a lot of the time, the opinion's not going to go your way, is it? So, let, just yeah, let it's people. Yeah, like people being like, how dare you sell alcohol when it says drink responsible outside? Yeah. Like, yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense and I don't understand how these big creators are not saying, yeah, that's fine, Cass, I'll do a video or I'll do a little speech before. Um, but before I go live, just to let everyone know, I just... But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. But keep up. I do watch you every night, although you send me to sleep most nights. Huh. Um, but I don't know how to exit this, so can you all kick right. me, please? Yeah, I'll kick you out. All right, nice one, Thank Jesse. You. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> um, I'm literally... I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to jump off, because... Well, just because... Hi. You're right. How's it going? This is fucking random, right? How are you? Is your real name Cass? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm sorry. What is the cock? Is this like an apology TikTok room? <laughs> apology? No. No. Is it like? It seems like it's uh, an apology room. You know, for everybody else. Who's gifting and who's shit? You know what I mean? And they come here and they'll just talk about it and say sorry for it. Do you know what I think is a good idea? Cool. Right. If you have somebody and they gift massive, you know those big huge gifts. Just take a note of their name and just make sure that they don't gift again. I don't know. Maybe is there a way you can turn their gifts off? You know, like or maybe mute them in some kind of a way so they can't send you another massive gift in that sort of way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think, um, as I said... Did you understand anything I fucking said? <laughs> like-